Greetings, Israelites and Gentiles, men and women, giving all the honor and praise to the Most High, our power. And I thank you, Father, for your shy Christ, our oil, and for shedding his precious blood for us. I also would like to thank you, Father, for the Holy Spirit, our Mother, who leads, guides, counsels, and comforts us. The excitement of the mind. excitement of the mind is about your heart deceiving you by the excitement of the mind. Speaking on things with no precepts and having no right understanding about the matter you speak on, and which will leave you confused and confusing others. The ancient way we got understanding of the scriptures was through precepts. Nevertheless, another important factor is we also get knowledge through precepts which gives us the truth of the scriptures. Therefore, you must be weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. So let's get it. Isaiah 28, 9 and 11 Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, Line upon line, line upon line. Now watch this. Here a little, and there a little. Brother Kyle, did you say here a lot, and there a lot? No, brother. Here a little, and there a little. So it's in this way ye shall know the text, or the words of God, in knowledge and understanding. However, Why has people mind been excited? Maybe because their mind has not been renewed in consistency. And be not conformed, complying to the rules, to this world, but be ye transformed, thorough or dramatic change, by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And we must prove what is good acceptable and perfect will of God. When we don't do this, we start thinking highly of ourselves than we ought to and not thinking soberly. Because our mind is not being renewed, but being invaded by strange things, and that can be anything, and which comes by the excitement of the mind. Stay away from such a thing or a one. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntarily humility and worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he has not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head. Who is the head of man? God, Brother Kyle? Hmm. Yes and no, in a sense. Let's go there real quick. But I could have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God, the Most High, our power. Now, it can read like this since we have our precept, and not holding the Son of God, the Christ, from which all the body by joints and bonds, having nourishment ministered 
and knit together increases with the increase of God, the Most High, our power. But I fear lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Hmm. What can this look like, kinda, for an example? You know, I didn't come here to preach to you today. But you know, when I look at these contestants uh, for the Miss Black Awareness pageant, uh, I feel good. Uh, I feel good because uh, I know there's a God uh, somewhere. There's a God uh, somewhere. Turn around, ladies, for me, please. You know there's a God who sits on high and looks down low. Man uh, cannot make it like this. Uh, Larry Flint, uh, Hugh Hefner, uh, they can take the picture, but they can't make it. Uh, only God above, uh, the Hugh Hefner on high, uh, can make it for you. Joy! Joy! Can I get a amen? Amen! Amen! Can I get a amen? Yes! <laughs> can I get a amen? Amen! Can I get an amen? Yes! <laughs> I don't know what you come to do, but I come to praise the name. <laughs> Lord, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Girls, you can, you can leave now. Thank you very much. There's a God somewhere. I got a special treat for you this evening. A young man that you all know is Joe the Policeman from the What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama. I want you to put your hands together and welcome him to the stage. Big round of applause for Jackson Heights' own Mr. Randy Watson. Yes, Randy Watson. <laughs> that boy is good. Mm -hmm. Good and terrible. And Reverend Brown, two years for the Reverend. This man's been my Reverend since I was a little boy, and I love him dearly. You're a very special man, Reverend Brown. Let's just pause right there. You see, Reverend's pupil, he produced. His mind is clearly, clearly excited by women, and it's puffed up, no different from his pupil puffed up in mind, thinking of himself highly, and he think he can sing too. <laughs> Sexual chocolate negro syndrome. Mm, mm, mm. Reverend Brown. It feels so lovely to be here tonight. What a beautiful art. Give yourselves a round of applause. You're so lovely. Everyone's so lovely. And um, while you're in the clapping mood, I'd like to give a big round of applause to my band, Sexual Chocolate. Sexual Chocolate. They play so fine, don't you agree? I believe the children are our future. Thank you. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty they possess inside. Give them a sense of pride. Make it easier. Some of the good stuff, right? Coming up. Want to coke? Join the show. <laughs> Enjoy, young man. I decided long ago never to walk in any one shadow. If I fail, if I succeed, you can't take away my dignity. Because the greatest love of all is inside of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sex and chocolate. What can be the reason for this madness? Well, without having to go too deep into this, let's go to Ezekiel 44, 7 through 8. In that ye have brought into my sanctuary strangers, uncircumcised in heart, and uncircumcised in flesh, to be in my sanctuary, to pollute it, even my house. 
house when ye offer my bread, the fat, and the blood, and they have broken my covenant because of all your abominations. You have let strange things within your sanctuary, pride, lust, haughtiness, jealousy, and all sorts of strange things have entered your heart and mind. And what was the abominations of Israel? The six things does the Lord hate. I do too. Yes, seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. D did not the Israelites do this to Christ? And heart that devises wicked imaginations. Did not King Saul use trickery and get the witch of Endor to summon prophet Samuel? Feet that be swift and running to mischief. He said this, she said that, she did this, he did that, like children, no forgiveness or long suffering. A false witness that speaketh lies. Oh, you're too Christian. Oh, you're too Jewish. You're too this, accuser of the brethren, like the damn devil, bewitched, and he that sowed discord among brethren. And ye have not kept the charge of mine holy things, but ye have set keepers of my charge and my sanctuary for yourselves. Basically, you allow someone else to keep your charge of your salvation or learning, who is neither learned or weaned from the breast. And this will equate to preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not, will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. Brothers and sisters, there are so many places in the text where this was done. However, I will go to one in the anti Nicene Fathers. Urbanus, a prophet and a man of light, called and anointed by Christ, the anti-Nicene father, the extent writings of Asterius Urbanus. Two from Book One. There, they say, one of those who have been but recently converted to the faith, a person of the name of Montanus, when Gratus was proconsul of Asia gave the adversary interests against himself by the excessive lust of his soul after taking the lead. And this person was carried away in spirit and suddenly being seized with a kind of frenzy and ecstasy, he raved, talked wildly or incoherently and began to speak and to utter strange things and to prophesy in a manner contrary to the custom of the church as handed down from early times and preserved therefore in a continuous succession put a pin there so montanus recently saved not well seasoned and most importantly he was let the adversary in because he wanted to lead teach prophesy and etc and had an excessive lust about it too listen to me hear me out Follow me, reading on because where there is a speaker, oh, there's ears. And among those who were present on that occasion and heard those spurious utterances, false or fake utterances, not being what it purports to be, there were some who were indignant and rebuked him as one frenzied and under the power of demons and possessed by the spirit of delusion and agitating the multitude and debarred him from speaking anymore for they were mindful of the lord's distinction and threatening whereby he warned them to be on their guard vigilantly against the coming of the false prophets in conclusion titus 3 8 to 11 this is a faithful saying and these things I will that thou affirm 
constantly. This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly. That they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable and vain. A man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth, being condemned of himself. Giving all the honor and praise to the Most High, our power. And I thank you, Father, for your shy Christ, our oil, and for shedding his precious blood for us. I also would like to thank you, Father, for the Holy Spirit, our Mother, who leads, guides, counsels, and comforts us. There is more word, blessing. You think they're ready for the no go, huh? Go, huh? Yeah, go, yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give them the no go. No go. No go. Saying this when you know you really mean that. Uh, I'm on. Gaining all you have by the give a gap. Hold up, hold up. Sitting there, chest all poked out, private. Alright? Like you keeping it a whole band, but you're high. Nah, come on now, baby. That ain't how you really feel about it, you know it. You know it. What your country's really saying, you'll never show it. Never. Gotta play it off all puffed up, scared of how you gon' look. Uh -huh. Scared of how they gon' see you if you quote the wrong part of this book. Uh -huh. well, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ publicly. Uh -huh. Hang for my savior in public, same way he hung for me. Book chapter to the verse, if I conquer that, then I'm on speed. Coming out. Once you got your whole heart clean, you can wear it right on your sleeve. You don't need anything, got no need to deceive. Hey. They could believe or they could just be as goofy as they please. Hey. Bears for what? Same thing we all gotta go through. Yeah, yeah. Today it's me, but tomorrow it'll be you. That poor. Huh? That poor. No God. Leaning on about your heart till you got no God. Mean what you say, say what you mean. No God. Yo. Good and bad always will be, but no guile, no guile, no guile. Gotta be your precise people, baby, no guile. Say what you mean, mean what you say, no guile. Yeah, you may, anything else with no guile. Let your yay be yay and nay, nay, everything else wicked. Say it coming for the evil one, everybody swearing, gon' get it. Rap me all, big old fat. Straight facts, our father in heaven, he hate that. Our words are so powerful, when you put them out, hard to take back. Ooh, if I can go and find all the people I misled in my life, and tell them the truth, how they need to repent and be baptized in the Christ. I started to never make any more music, and when I did, here's why. Cause I owe it back to them, trying to undo all the garbage I put in their mind. It was deception, repent. Man, that's your brother, don't kill. Man, that's your sister, don't pimp. We have a God, serve him. Every time I ever said anything wasn't true, I apologize. Everything that I ever stole, everything that I took and it wasn't mine. Every time I impressed you, told the lie and finessed you. Or maybe I made a mountain out of molehill, but it really was lessons. God forgot me, I'm feeling the pressure. So this is what I gotta do. Everything he delivered me from, I'm afraid when I see it in you. Huh? Yeah. No God. Leaning on about your heart till you got no God. Mean what you say, say what you mean. No God. Good and bad always will be, but no God. No God. The God of heart. No God. Gotta be your precise people, baby. No God. No 